Welcome to Borrowed Histories by Five Senses Ikebana. My name is Nicoletta and I'm a Sogitsu Ikebana artist based in Tokyo. In this series, for each Ikebana creation, I will use borrowed vases that hold a special place in someone's heart. From antique and vintage to modern and contemporary, there is something for everyone in my videos. If you are passionate about Ikebana, or if you wish to learn exciting new ways to decorate your space with flowers, click subscribe and join me on our journey. Now on with the video. Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Borrowed Histories. My name is Nicoleta. Minasan konnichiwa, Nicoleta desu. Borrowed History e yokoso. Kyou mo yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. For today's episode, um, rather than using the, uh, the regular vases and containers uh, that are uh, specially created for flower arranging, um, we have the pleasure to introduce a sculpture. This beautiful artwork was created by Mr. Junji Takada. Junji Takada-san is a sculptor and he draws inspiration for his artwork um, from nature. Um, this piece is uh, especially inspired by the flowing of water. I think this is a very beautiful idea and is uh, very well transformed into an art piece um, because of, of constraint of space. Um, we can only um, show it this way, but it actually looks very beautiful from wherever angle um, we are actually um, looking at. It can be viewed from, from any angle. For today's episode, I will choose this particular angle because I like the way that it, it does um, bring an image of water started to flow um, on top of the mountains. I'm aware that during this episode um, I will be um, probably obscured at the back. Um, you will hopefully still hear my voice very well and I hope you will stay with me and enjoy um, the flowers. So let's get started. Fresh water to cut the materials. Um, well, I'm aware of the fact that this um, sculpture piece contains no place to hold water and we do need water for, for our flowers. So, um, because the image uh, created by, by this artwork is that of water just, just beginning to flow and giving life in its path, I, I chose a container that reminds me of a mountain top. Um, I will not use it on this side though, because I would, not, I would like to, to have the sculpture in, uh, in forefront. So we will use it a little bit to the side. But I will make sure that, that my flowers uh, reach water inside the container to stay fresh. Um, I, will, I, I drew inspiration for, um, for this arrangement from the very idea of beginning of life. Water is uh, the source of life, the source of happiness. So I chose um, a little bit exotic flowers for today's episode. Lush, exotic and beautiful. So we'll, we'll just go on an imaginary trip through time and we'll travel back to the beginning of life. The first element we use is a beautiful, beautiful heliconia. Let's start. I will make use of the natural flow of the, of the art piece. And I will um, interconnect the materials while making use of uh, various nooks and various uh, areas that I could use to fix ma the materials so that they can safely reach uh, my container. A 
as you probably know, Heliconia is, um, belongs to the banana family. And not only does she look amazing, it also smells very nice of bananas. This type of materials and this, uh, this beautiful color of material um, you will see for the next elements um, I will also use very very happy colors they are called vitamin kara so um, <laughs> uh, flowers uh, colors that give you energy and almost look like uh, they invigorate you I also have a Kenzan in, uh, in, the, in the container just to make sure that everything stays in place. We will showcase the various angles of Heliconia. They look very special and they're quite pretty from all different angles. quite heavy so I just need to to make sure they are stable enough all right next element also a very very exotic flower some beautiful beautiful yellow gloriosa <laughs> Just add some of these leaves are a little bit dry so I will just try to remove if I can.
just a few more before the final touch, the final element. We remove a few of the leaves at the base. Just a little bit more. I'll try to make sure that the um, flower reaches water <laughs> and also stays within the frame. <laughs> I'm aware of the fact that we're a little bit on the edges of the um, of the frame and background. Um, the last element I will add, we added exotic flowers and lush um, and, and beautiful colors. The last element is um, inspired by the sun. These are Phrygias. They are called Marseille. Um, it's a, a very special variation that has a very big flower, much bigger than usual. Um, they smell probably less fragrant than the, the usual variation, um, but had, have um, a lot of petals. And they look very, very beautiful. I think they will add a little bit of color and a little bit of uh, impact to the overall arrangement. Okay. Let's add some more. Just to keep this, uh, this lushness, um, I will leave the, um, the flowers uh, with the leaves untrimmed. Because we assume that uh, at, the, at the beginning of times, when flowers started uh, growing, they're probably uh, lush and green and uh, wild. <laughs> What I would like to emphasize uh, one more time with, uh, with this type of, the arra of arrangement is that um, Ikebana is not always um, created in uh, traditional containers. Uh, imagination um, can take us quite far and everything that can hold water can be substituted for a fascinating um, 
container and beautiful Ikebana can be created um, anywhere, anytime. <laughs> so this is it for today's uh, very happy arrangement. Um, I will take a picture from afar because um, I'm not sure you can see the, the whole splendor of flowers. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you wish to learn more around, and about, <laughs> about Takada-san, about his sculpture, if you wish to learn more about his artwork or the materials I used today, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, I will leave some details in the description below. Should you wish to learn more, please um, let me know in comments. Would like to hear back from you. Have a great week ahead. Take care. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you are looking forward to seeing more arrangements, subscribe and follow the Five Senses social media accounts. Until next time!